Hello, this is Jacqueline Goldfinger bringing you some great new playwrights to check out. I was lucky to meet Zandra when she was finishing her MA in theater from Villanova University right outside Philadelphia. Um, I really enjoyed her as a person. I thought she'd be a wonderful collaborator. I made a note to work with her one day. Um, and then when I read her plays, they floored me. They're sophisticated and vibrant. They were powerful and thoughtful. Uh, she has a background in history and in cultural critique. And so all of her plays were layered with historical and cultural intersectionality that bloomed and that also banged into one another and made the characters come into some really deep, complex, interesting conflict. Zandra writes that she actively grounds her work in the voices of her community, black people and the African diaspora, Latinx folks, and spaces of queer expansion. She calls herself an optimistic and curious polymath. She thought she would grow up to be a human rights lawyer, and she is now a human rights artist. Her work blends adaptation with revolution, dreams with history, pain with power, laughter with rage. I encourage you to check out her work on the New Play Exchange. Rachel is the unexpected laugh that you get at a dinner party when someone has accidentally said something very truthful. Her writing is complex. Her characters are likable and hateable and everywhere in between on the spectrum, often within the same play. And she is fearless in going to the heart of an issue and making you really look at what is happening with the characters behind the mask. Rachel writes that she writes plays about complicated, complex women of color. These women are neither saints nor villains. They are eternally both. The women are intelligent, blistered, and most importantly, real. As these women navigate through the American landscape with a series of different issues, they also struggle with the complicated idea of what it means to be a woman today, and layered complexity adds to their various dilemmas. She uses her plays, she writes, to invite the audience into her world using humor and creating a recognizable world. We sit together, we drink together, and we live in these spaces together. My work challenges what these spaces can accept and what absolutely must change so that the room where it happens can be increasingly more inclusive. Jarrett is the most emerging of our emerging writers for this Under the Radar session. His voice is warm and wonderful and understands pop culture, but also understands the layer of history and time and culture that led to this pop culture moment. Keep your eye on him. He's going to do great things for the American theater. Jarrett says that his work will always be about black queer people in order to normalize the idea of our stories through life being captivating and relatable. And his goals are to write for stage, television, and comic books. Keep an eye out. He's going to blow your mind, folks. I've been participating in Playwrights Under the Radar for 10 years now, so I thought we'd look back and check in with some of our writers from the past.